So hey guys, so today I'm just going to be doing another freestyle, again with no picture, but the end result will be at the end, but so start off by buffing your nails, you know the same process, um, but if you're new to my channel, my name is Jakara, and hey, um, so I'm going to start off by buffing all my nails, this is like a good strategy to do for doing press-ons or actually doing nails, um, just because it removes the shine and everything, and it makes the polish stick even better, it gives you overall good finish. So now I'm just going to be taking my hot pink, it's called Teenage Dream, um, I get my apologies from DTK Nail Supply, I'll leave that in the description box below, um, and then if you've seen the nail decals, those are going to be for the next nail, so this is just going to be my thumbnail, it's hot pink, um, they're all going to be matte, so I'm just going to go ahead and cure that for right now, I cured it for 120 seconds, um, so yeah, and now I'm going to do my other two nails, they're both going to be white. So I'm just going to take my Snow White Polish, from, also from DTK Nail Supply, um, it's the D&D &D Gel brand. So for this one I'm just going to be doing my pink, you just basically setting up my um, base polishes and base coats and everything. So this is going to be the base coat for the pinky, um, just because it's going to have a tip applied to it later on. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just put that base coat down, this bright and star, it's all, all these polishes are going to be by D&D. Um, and then I'm going to go switch back to the other finger, which is white, so the two white nails, you'll see the end result. Alright, so for this nail, I'm going to be doing the decal, it's going to be a full decal, um, that's why you just see me measuring it, just to make sure that it's going to fit, because you don't want it to be too small, you don't want it to be extremely too big. Um, so yeah, plus I really love these. These are also, these are by uh, Nail by Chrissy. I'll leave her description, or her link um, in my description box as well. So right here I'm just going to be like, basically I'm picking out my jewels for all the nails <laughs> that I want to do. Um, so... For this one, I moved back to the thumb because now I'm going to start applying the um, the jewels and everything. So for this one, I originally was going to do like a half decal underneath the jewels, but that didn't work out, so I did something else. So right now, I'm going to be applying my matte top polish. Um, this is by Gelfinity, which will also be in the description box below. So yeah, just go ahead and start making your design with the, um, the, the jewels and all. So I'm just going to make like a jeweled half covered tip. Like I said before, it was supposed to be something else, but it's okay. So I just made the outline for the first nail. Just went ahead and cured that for 120 seconds. So now for the white one, um, I'm just about to make the heart, just because I've been seeing like, you know, the little butterfly designs with the two nails. So I thought just to make something simple, like a heart. So I'm gonna go ahead and outline the heart with the um, matte top polish coat, just so my uh, jewels can adhere to the nails or adhere to the nails and then you know just basically go from there now afterwards though I will be um, finishing the matte polish around the entire nail but for right now I'm just gonna go ahead and put the jewels on
All right, so now we're gonna hop right back to the thumbnail <laughs> again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some um, top coat to it just so, again, so the jewels can stick to it. Um, this again was supposed to be some other design, but I just went ahead and did this instead. So just go ahead and apply your gel, your jewels. Yeah, and just, I mean, you can pick whatever size you want, whatever size fits to you. I was going back and forth because I was being really indecisive at this time, but yeah, I just ended up doing the same, eventually the same jewel size. Okay, so first you're gonna go ahead and just measure it again, make sure everything's right, make sure you wanna where it is. And then you wanna go ahead and cut out the white trimmings, um, just because that part might adhere to the nail as well and you don't want that. So just go ahead and cut that, cut all the extra stuff, um, stuff off. So I'm just gonna make sure um, the decal is where I want it to be at. And then I'm gonna cut the extra little tip off um, just so I can just get, you know, the right size tip, just because if not, it's going to just be extra decal hanging off the nail. So yeah, for the other nail, you're going to go ahead and just trim off the end. Don't cut this one in half though, because it will be a full nail. Um, and then this one will just like lay right on the nail. All right, so once you're done cutting out everything, just go ahead and just plop it in some water. Um, don't leave it in there for too long just because it will slip off, um, you know, once it gets wet. So just go ahead and put the decal in the water and then just, yeah, it'll slide right off of the other paper and onto the nail. So like I was saying, um, it'll slide right off of the paper that it's on. So yeah, just, as you can see, it's already like slippery and everything, so just go ahead and place it on the nail, and then it'll just slide right off, like literally slide right off, and there you go. And then you wanna go ahead and cure that for 30 seconds. So right now I'm just going to be trimming off the little extra decal that was left over. Um, that happens sometimes though, but just go ahead and cut it off. But 
Now I'm moving on to um, my jewels and I'm just gonna be applying my top coat again because that's how I apply my jewelry. Um, I'm just gonna put the jewels where the where the tip starts just because it's a little, um, it's not as straight as I would have liked it to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover that up with some jewelry and just make that the lining. 